everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about hair and how to maintain it so I removed my braids and as you can see my hair is still fully hydrated I haven't even combed my hair out and it's not falling out at all see okay so let me show you the ingredients and the method okay guys so I have in my bowl um, pimento I have grounded have two tablespoons I put some orange peel in it and pour some hot water in it and left it to ferment for a day. So let me tell you a bit about pimento. Pimento, also known as allspice, Jamaica pepper, myrtle pepper, new spice, pimento, and clove pepper. It is used in both sweet and savory dishes. Pimento is known to have great health benefits and is not just a spice as most people believe. It can brew into a tea to relieve colds, ease menstrual cramps, and calm an upset stomach. As a balm, it can apply to bruises, sore joints, and muscle aches, eases diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and even constipation. The antioxidants present in pimento also have anti-inflammatory qualities that ease cramps and aid digestion. Pimento also has anesthetic and analgesic properties that helps to relieve pain, relax muscles, lung function, and menopause symptoms. Pimento, when combined with Jamaican black castor oil to create a dynamic hair tonic packed with antioxidants for hair growth, it is a traditional treatment for scalp conditions. Pimento is rich in omega-9 fatty acids. Using pimento in your hair will result in stronger hair that's less prone to breakage. Pimento oil never use on its own. It should combine with beneficial essential or carrier oils, especially Jamaican black castor oil. glycerin and one tablespoon of glycerin which I already combined in the, with the black castor oil and my rapeseed oil in this bowl so glycerin deeply moisturizes and hydrates your hair and that's exactly what you need treat split ends promote hair growth Remove, repairs damaged hair, prevents skin sagging and wrinkles, prevents acne. It has anti-inflammatory and anti-irritant properties that can help eradicate itchiness in the scalp and it also prevents dandruff. I also going to put aloe vera one of your protein for your hair. So aloe vera has many active ingredients and minerals that can help strengthen your hair. It has fatty acids and amino acids and it's rich in vitamins A, B12, C and E. These play a part in healthy hair follicles. Aloe vera has enzymes that break down fats so strip your hair of any extra oils. Helps itchy scalp, dandruff, red skin, and scaly patches. It protects, it also protects your hair from UV damages. So guys, my carrier oil is rapeseed oil. So like I said, I've had the rapeseed oil the glycerin and my Jamaican black castor oil. So Jamaican black castor oil will moisturize, thicken, strengthen, 
and rapidly increase hair growth, increase blood flow to the scalp, supplying valuable nutrients to hair follicles, prevents hair breakage, dandruff, eczema, and dry itchy scalp. Jamaican black castor oil is more effective than the Claire Pharmacy castor oil. Because of its ash content due to roasting of the beans, therefore it stands to reason that the more ash content, the more effective the oil. Okay guys, so firstly, I'm going to pour all of my ingredients into this bowl. So that's my aloe vera going in. And this is the oils that I have combined together. And the orange peel in my bottle with the pimento, it also helps to relieve you of any itchy scalp. So first I'm going to shake this a little bit more. I'm going to spray it out two tablespoonsful. Okay. And the rest of this, I will drink it. And that will be another video for another time. I'll tell you why I drink it. And I am going to add a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And then I'm going to mix them together. Guys, I can tell you this, your hair never stops growing but all you need guys is a deep conditioner for your hair every six to eight weeks you need a leave-in conditioner this is what I'm doing and you need oil to seal the moisture and you will see the result in your hair growth and maintenance you will see no more split ends and you will feel how soft, silky, and lovable your hair will become. Okay? So guys, I have mixed. You can use electric waste. You can use a blender, whatever, to make this, com to combine all the ingredients together. I am telling you guys, after finding this out, I will never use another ingredient again. So remember guys, you need to keep your hair hydrated because people like us who have curly, nice curly coils and so on, you have to maintain it because our hair is easy to break if you don't maintain it so i use this once or twice for the week and i see the difference if you want you could use it more but ensure that you don't put too much of the castor oil in there because the castor oil has a very thick thick texture also your glycerine guys remember your hair still grows no matter what your hair grows every day right do not have your protein overload make sure your hair is hydrated make sure you put the right things together and you will see the difference with your hair no, nothing that is out there is a magic ingredient. So do not chop and change because that can also be a damage to your hair. 
because different things mean different different things for your hair so continue to stick to something for some time and then if it doesn't work it doesn't work and move on another thing we have to know that what works for me might not work for you so guys if you like my videos continue to like comment share and subscribe I am trying to grow back my hair, not because of damage, but I had a nice boy cut hairstyle going for me. But you know, sometimes you get fed up of stuff and you want to move on to the next level. So that's what I am doing. So guys, thank you for watching. And remember to touch that notification button. And I'll see you soon.